If you follow my channel, you'll know that I've recently got a Brompton and I'm currently enjoying picking up a few extras to put on it, um, changing the way it looks. I think everyone gets into that thing with Bromptons and they really do invite that sort of in individual feel. So one of the things I'd like to change are the handlebar grips. Um, other stuff that I'm going to be looking at, um, probably coming up in the next month or so, I'll be doing a review of the um, Monkey um, bottle adapters. And I've also got a leather carry handle from uh, Raw. Um, they'll come up in videos to, in the next sort of month or so. Um, but as I say, one thing I wanted to change was the handlebar grips. Um, I had a Brompton years ago, didn't really like the foam grips. Um, if you want to know what they look like, here they are. Um, just simple foam over a, a plastic insert with a, a Allen um, headed screw to pinch it down. Very simple, very lightweight. So this isn't a weight saving exercise, um, but I don't find them particularly nice in the hand. They're a bit too slender um, and they just don't feel awfully robust. Perfectly serviceable, I'm sure. Very cheap, very light, um, but I did want to upgrade. So I've opted for the um, Bro Brooks um, Plump Leather Grips, and they're just incredibly aesthetically pleasing um, in my mind. So let's pop one out of the box here. Let's move this to one side. So basically, it's a stacked leather handle. Um, and we'll, we'll take it apart in a little bit to take a proper look at it. Um, but the leather stacking just looks great. I, I think it will weather really nicely. I think I'll put a nice sort of polish on it through wear and uh, it'll just sort of pick up that nice organic patina, which just looks really good. Um, very nicely put together. Um, it is basically a stack of leather washers which are used, or the offcuts from the Brooks leather saddles, so really nice sort of heritage there, um, and also sort of recycling. And they're held together by three um, spokes. I'll just show you what. So you get some spares, so basically little tiny spokes with threaded sections. Let's take it apart quickly so you can see that. Screw, uh, they call nipples at the end just like you get on a normal spoke. Let's take off all three. So once you've got off the three um, screwed um, spoke nipples, I think you call them, um, you're left with a very nice cast bead blasted aluminium, I'm guessing, split ring, pinched down onto the uh, handlebars there. And then you can see the stacked leather washers And they come off a little bit wiggling. I'm just going with a threaded portion here. So these come off and you can change the length somewhat. And the threaded portions of the, of the spokes extend quite a way down so you can change the length of your handlebar grip. I'm perfectly happy with how they are currently. They're a little bit longer than the uh, Brompton Originals, but still, um, I think they'll, they'll be good. Give me a bit more to hold on to. Um, and if you want to significantly shorten them, you can use the, the shorter spokes, which are provided with the kits. And that would take off a good inch and a half in length. And I am assuming that would probably be for those who operate a uh, twist shift gear shifter on their bikes so probably not Brompton owners unless you've got a uh, a modified um Sturmi Archer 
but other other users might want to sh shorten those to adopt a twist shift gear shifter. So getting them on the bike, I thought they were going to be a real challenge because when I looked at these, um, and I think it used to be the case that it used to be just a, a foam sleeve and I was thinking I don't really want to destroy it, um, I'll have to carefully peel it off. Um, but having played with it, just to see how it was all going to go on, um, it's a nice plastic sleeve with an arm head and uh, getting these on really is a five minute job. So before we do get them on, I want to do a quick weight comparison. Um, as I say, these aren't a weight saving uh, addition to your bike. Um, they do weigh quite a bit more, but let's put them on okay. the scales. So let's get these onto these scientifically calibrated kitchen scales. So the original Brompton handlebar grips, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick up the display here, but they weigh together 54 grams. Incredibly lightweight. The Brooks are gonna weigh a fair bit more, so it's zeroed. Let's put those on. They weigh 316 grams. So almost six times as heavy, but they look good and as I, say, I want them. This is an incredibly easy job, literally five minutes. Small Allen key to undo the um, original Brompton handlebar grips. Lefty Lucy. That simply slides off. I'm going to slightly back up the, uh, the brakes because the the brooks are slightly longer, so just take that back. A touch. So these will slide on nicely. Um, one Allen bolt facing upwards, the other facing downwards, which is a little bit of a, a pain to put on, but maybe it's just because I'm trying to do it on camera. So these just slide on really nicely. Get it looking nicely. The logo is uppermost. Tighten the first iron bolt. We'll shimmy the brake levers back. Righty tighty. There we go. Five minute job. So these are going on my bike. Um, really easy to take on and off. Um, five minute job as I say. Um, I'll maybe post an upgrade update once they've sort of worn in or maybe I'll put something on Tumblr showing you how they sort of patina. Um, one thing I didn't point out earlier, really nice little leather end cap there. I just love the way they've reused what is sort of surplus um, saddle materials. I think it's really nice. The repurposing of spokes, really cool idea. Um, not lightweight, not cheap, um, but I think incredibly attractive. Nice bit of UK made sort of bike um, bling really, isn't it? So we'll get those on the bike. Um, I'll give you an update if there's anything interesting to tell. Um, as I say, if you haven't seen my channel before, um, please check it out. You might share some other common interests. So I'm really getting into the, the Brompton um, I've caught that bug, um, but other things you'll find on my channel, um, quality footwear, denim, everyday carry, pen knives, fountain pens, coffee, um, also got back into guitar playing. Um, please check it out. I'd love it if you could subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and uh, I hope this is useful. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.